so hey guys, today I'm going to be playing a game called Cuban Creature, which at first appearance is really heavily inspired by Super Meat Boy. I mean, you could almost call it a ripoff, but as soon as you get past like the first entry few levels, it's a much different game, um, and I actually like it. I don't want to say better because Super Meat Boy is such a great game, but I like how this game plays. It's more thoughtful and requires kind of a lot of precision platforming and less just flat out speed. Now, you're welcome to disagree with me, Super Meat Boy is a super good game, and I think I own about four different copies of that. Um, I'm going to buy it again on the Xbox One if it ever comes out, because the controller is what makes or breaks that game, and uh, I really like the Xbox One controller, so we'll see. But, um, Cuban Creature, you play a boy who wakes up in a strange spaceship, and your only companion is a cube. Some heavy references from Portal 2. Here we go. But... What is this? Who are you? You don't belong here, creature. Please leave. Thank you. All right, well, I will. There you go. Goodbye. You are still here? The universe is so big, yet you are here. Asked you to leave. You won't listen to me. No, I won't. Now, you'll notice right away that, yeah, this does look like Super Meat Boy, but the, the boy in this game, or creature, as it calls him, is super flighty. Like, you just float for days. It's a lot like playing um, Commander Video in Super Meat Boy, to be exact. Uh, it's So you float a lot, and so you have a lot of weird moves that you can do. I have this urge to help you. So I will. But I need you to listen. You must trust me. Are you gonna help? What? Are you gonna just leave me be? As you can tell, this is another game that would suffer a lot from the Ouya controller lag. And, um, hold on just one second. Creature, listen. I know something. You need to carry on. I'm not sure how I know. I just do. Thank you. That's pretty nice. But no, this game definitely suffers from some control issues uh, when you get too far away from the Ouya console. Uh, that Bluetooth technology, it was, it was a clever application, but it has, it has issues. <laughs> I'm just gonna slide down this wall real slow. There we go. There. And on the default mode, uh, in this game you get three hits on spikes, which is kind of a lot different than Super Meat Boy. However, um... After you beat a level, or when you start a level, for example, you can set the game to star mode on any level you've cleared. And star mode is much more similar to Super Meat Boy in that you get one hit, and you can actually see where you died in the past, which is like that Super Meat Boy thing where it shows all the Meat Boys in your replay. Although in this game, you just play alongside them. Um, they show up as little lights. I, if I get bad enough at a level, I'll show you how that goes. Creature. What do you seek? Freedom? Justice? Treasure? In the end, all are useless. What you really need is me. I can help you. You keep saying that, but I don't think you know what help means, because I'm just jumping around and you're just doing whatever, man. Oh, I'm going to put up here. There we go. never could beat this game. I got pretty close. There are three worlds, and it, uh, as you saw, I think, on the menu screen, it claims more levels to come, but they never came, and that's kind of sad. But they are all useless, creature. Freedom, justice, treasure, all useless. What you need is me. Creature. Did you know? Eventually, we all end up the same dead. I can help you through this, but only if you listen. It's getting slightly disturbed. Oh, there's the first enemy in the game, the slimes. And yeah, as you can tell, they are increasingly dangerous. They're basically patches of spikes that move. There's no real way. There's no real way. Fine, I'll just bully my way through. Jeez. There. I will help you. There's only one way forward. The 
This time it's located above your head. You should go there. Move on. You know, Cube, you're not very useful. I mean, it's nice that you're on my side now. I mean, when you were telling me to go away, that was kind of irritating, but... Right now... Ugh, it's ways above my head. I can kind of tell. Just barely touch those spikes. That might be my one complaint about this game. There's very little feedback when you actually hit something. It, it can be really hard to tell, or you can get really frustrated because you can... Well, when you die, you get plenty of feedback. <laughs> I just kind of explode. But um, I think the heart mechanic was added kind of late in development or at the last minute um, to make the game just a little bit more playable because it is really brutally difficult otherwise. Um, later in like World 3, you get these puzzles that are like multiple... Uh, you have to get a bunch of keys, and so you have to do these really tough platforming segments one after another, and you have to succeed them all without dying. And those three hearts get to be pretty late, like not quite enough once you get that far. Listen, some elements are not eternal, some will vanish by time or forces, some even by the slightest touch. You know, I know you're trying to be spiritual, but I just think you mean these little bricks here in the middle. No intro? Okay. Oh, I remember this level. This is verbatim very similar to Meat Boy. There we go. Not bad. I'm not gone. I need to tell you something. These worlds you are entering. Some are more difficult than others. Those marked with a skull. Good luck. That was almost fourth wall breaking, but I'm not quite sure what he's talking about. I think he means like on the main menu, the skull or the tougher. But I don't really know. I mean, I have to do them in order anyway, so I don't really know if it matters if they have a skull or not. or some sort of weird synthetic world. I don't really remember. I guess we'll see one day. The universe is unstable. You should carry on. Find the key to the problem. The universe is unstable. Jeez, I apologize for that. That's a little bit distressing. you're giving me the tutorial, we're about halfway through the game. Well, halfway through the world, I guess. So this is like a much simpler version of how the later levels are. You get just these, these crazy platforming sections that you get one shot at, and you have to do it. In fact, later, there are levels that have upwards of seven keys, and just lots of blocks you have to do. Oh no, I have to... <laughs> I have to go back up there on the remains of those little blocks. You know, the, the blue version of this world looks a lot like a hologram. Like, it looks... Okay. It looks kind of holographic. Like, maybe we're on some sort of holodeck. That would be interesting. I mean, that would explain the holographic cube. But, I mean, because those are just, like, pixels. See? The spikes aren't real. They still hurt. This world is dying. I'm afraid. You need to fix the world. Creature... I trust you. Ooh, it's getting violent. What is this? Or what place is this? This is what the world really looks like. I can't remember. You better find out. Oh. Oh, did you see that? Yep, the keys fell in the... Well, that's not how we're supposed to do that level. And I think what I'm gonna do is just restart. Feeling what you're supposed to do is jump. Well, I didn't time it quite right, but there we go. Time.
timing is key. Oh, I need you. The world is normal again. It's breaking down, though. You should carry on, but I can't remember why. Cube is repeating himself quite a lot, actually. I wonder if his memory is tied to the state of the world. This is all some holographic game, and if the game resets, he resets. Ugh. Not making it through. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Last. Go this way first. Oh, that doesn't. Oh, yeah, that does. We have to go here. Alright, cool. And then I'm gonna go down. That was much easier. Let's do this. I like this much better. Okay. Keep. I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> it seems like a pity, but I'd much rather not tangle with these slimes unless I have to. <sighs> okay, so that's what that gold lock opened. The difference between gold keys and silver keys is that gold keys um, just immediately unlock whatever they're connected with. And I think I missed it. Maybe I can. I mean, maybe I should have just tried instead of giving up, but we'll see. So that opens this up here. Uh-oh. I have a feeling we need that. We need to go up here a couple of times. Nope. All right. Only once. It looks like. All right. Wow. Well, looks like it. Okay. I can't get hit anymore. Gotta go back down very carefully. Don't open that, because then we'll be in trouble. We need to go over here, open this one. I'll try to get this gold key over here. Right, I'm doing pretty good. I'm being completely out of life. Oh, ho, 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 ho. took my hand off the controller for just a split second and got myself in trouble. All right, we'll give this one more crack, and then we're going to be over time, so I don't want to take too long. There is another key down there, but I need to do the gold one first. Let's just do this. That worked pretty well. Alright, so I got hit, but I still got two left. And I can get back down here. Do it this way instead of that. Okay. Let's go this way. There's another iron key. I'm actually just going to take this key up here rather than going all the way back. We can beat the first one together. I'm pretty sure we can do it. Okay. That's a bad sign. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. Alright, let's let's see. Let's go through this one again. This is easy. I don't get hit here very often. And that's fine. And let's do this one. And this one should be pretty easy. So I don't mess up terribly and have to climb spikes the entire way. <laughs> well, save for this, the game is tough. And I did clip those spikes, I deserve that. Fine. Alright, let's try a different. I'm not good at that. I should really get that one out of the way as quick as I can because if I can't get through that without getting hit, then there's no chance of so close all right guys well this is um cuban creature if you want to see what happens and what's actually going on in this world i suggest you check it out